What is going on, guys? The Gaming Ram here, and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. And today, before I show you guys, because it's like right in front of me, we are here to pick up the 1970 Dodge Cornet. That is right. The car is finally done. It's been a long build. It's been a long, long build. It's it, like we've been working on this car forever. But, we are finally done, and it's ready for pickup. So, right here, you can already see, you can already see, he did some marks out here. So, that means she's has to be running right. Alright, so let's park the truck out here. We got the Chevy Silverado, we got the 2020 out here today. Um, I decided to... Um, <clears throat> I decided to road trip the truck uh, from Tennessee, so very nice truck. It, like, no problem. We got here all intact. We didn't bring a trailer. We don't need one because the Cornet is going to stay right here, man. We're not even going to – we're not taking it to Tennessee. We're going to leave it out here. So, anyway, without further ado, here it is. Oh, my Lynn. Look at this. So, man, this car has came a long way. It really has. So here's the car. Looked very nice. Super B. We debated on putting the Super B, like uh, the uh, the decal, back on the car. But I was like, you know what? It is a true Super B. So it only makes sense to put Super B back on the car. So there it is. RT. Custom license plate of TGR. We got to have it. Oh, man. Anyway, let's hop in here. Let's fire this thing up. I'm excited. Nice. Man, look at this car. This car looks so good. So, in case you guys are new around here, this car, we had picked it up. It was like a barn find. It was in the middle of the desert. It's been deserted. It's been... They, someone had stripped the car completely down. I don't know ex the exact story of it, but... They have stripped this car completely down out there, and we got it, we bought it, we took delivery of it, and we, 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 we literally put, or we gave this car a second life, because literally if it wasn't for us, this car would have been scrapped, it would have been junked, but we got it, we saved it, and it turned out amazing. Look at this thing, this thing is a beaut! And it got a lot of speed. Now, we did build the engine a little bit, so it's not 100% stock. But, my God, look at the... The pickup of this car is amazing. You know, 123 miles an hour. That's incredible. Boy, does this car... It looks good. It looks good. It sounds good. You know, that 426... It's a smooth car. It's a big car, but man, is it smooth. I'm going to see if I can do a burnout here after this intersection clear. Man, I love it. I do. If you look underneath the car, that's everything. Like, we had to put everything into this car, even from, you know, you know, obviously, the whole suspension's been done. You know, we had to get everything new. Because, like I say, this car had nothing. It was just a shell. Not even the interior, which, look at this interior. Like, we got the carpet in here, the seats, the back seats, you know, the dashboard everything you know it's a full-on restoration this is the first restoration car i've done on this game and wow it's it turned out great i, I really do now 
this is the first one. We got a second one. We are working on a 70 or 72 uh, Chevy C10 now. So that's our second uh, second restoration. That's why we had to get this car done because we're going to be working on the C10. And um, even though I'm doing the C10 myself, instead of a, ooh, my lord, instead of a shop doing this one. So the C10, we're going to personally do the car. Um... We had to get the uh, the box truck, which uh, we're going to be getting parts pretty soon. The C10's in Tennessee, so we had a truck drop it off, and it's at the house. Also, I want to stop by the dirt track because I want to... We got the Jeep. The Jeep is fixed. Um, remember when we bought that... Uh, what did we buy? The parts car for this car. We had also the guy threw in a, a deal for the GE. What are you doing? I'm going to bag up because he's going to bag up. And I do not want him to hit my car. Come on. Now nah, you're, you're blocking the road. Oh, my God. Screw it. So we're going to show you guys the Jeep. The Jeep has been fixed. So it is no longer... Uh, a steering problem. We had to get a whole new front end on the Jeep, um, which was no big deal. You know, they have a, a million of those parts. Why is he on the wrong side of the road? All right, just don't get hit. <laughs> All right, it's got the traffic. Thank God I did not. Wow. Uh, the lag actually saved me. Ooh, my. All right, let's hurry up. I tell you what, let's hurry up and park this car because I do not trust traffic. They are going to ruin this car, even though... Whew. All right. But, yeah, the car is running good. It's not running hot. It's not overheating. You know, the engine's fine. The engine can take some very nice abuse, which I do. Lord. Yeah. That was my bad. We didn't damage nothing, did we? In the front end, now nah, we look good. All right, cool. Like, look at the speed. We're going uphill, and this car is just tr trucking. It is just... Look at this thing. Go. Engine is doing fantastic, even though I have the check engine light on over there on the left. 100 miles an hour. This car... Oh, my God. It floats. <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute. Dang it. <laughs> I tried to save it. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy there you go well the car ain't done the car is not done oh boy there you go <laughs> oh man there you go there you go guys <laughs> oh that's some serious damage too <laughs> go anyway i'll see you guys at the dirt track i'll show you guys the jeep Oh, here is the Jeep. Now, but the Jeep is done. Um, it's all stock. All we did was just fix the front end, which is what it needs. I needed, like, a whole new front end system. But, oh, my. I didn't even see that car. That could have been bad. I'm going to take this little side quest right here. Get out of the way! Woo! Hold on. Look at that. <laughs> Not a scratch on the Jeep. <laughs> uh, except for the back end, but wow. I'm actually impressed that it actually was it was it, and it was actually capable of doing that. Um you know, I, I need to test this out, you know. We got the front end fixed. I want to just make sure it's strong. I want something indestructible. 
we damn we definitely we messed it up a little bit more um but that's it for sure nope steel runs Cut it. All right, there you go. Let's cut the engine. We'll, we'll come back and get the Jeep later, um, but the Jeep is somewhat fixed. We got to do a little bit more work on it now, though, but the Jeep is running. It's driving. It's it's fantastic. I do love it, um, but we're going to take it on some, some serious off-roading trails now, and the reason is because we had sold off a lot of stuff. We... We sold off all of the off-road stuff that I had. We got rid of the rock crawler, the rock bouncer, um, and we got rid of the Bronco. So the Bronco, the 75 Ford Bronco is gone, and we got s something else that's going to be going pretty soon, which uh, I didn't want to tell you. But it's going to go, but we got a lot more stuff coming in, so... There you go. Anyway, I think that's going to end it because I didn't ruin two things here today and I don't want to ruin nothing else. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, turn that post notification so you know when I post videos. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.